MK, there are no real reviews about the Sona Pen so I knew from when I bought it that I'd have to do a review for it. Basically the Sona Pen is a Kickstarter project for an affordable alternative to the Apple Pencil, or iPad styluses with pressure sensitivity in general. It apparently got enough funding to get on Amazon which is where I bought it. It was $34.49 because I got the yellow version which was one cent cheaper than all the others. The Apple Pencil is expensive no matter what color you get it in. Both have pressure sensitivity, which is the main reason I went with it since the whole point of me getting an iPad in the first place was to be able to use it as a screen tablet. For those of you who don't know, pressure sensitivity is pretty much priceless when you're drawing seriously. But it was fucking priceless! PRICELESS! Fucking pencil! The program I use with it is plain old Medibang. There are issues I run into with both of these at the same time as well as my iPad freezing up because reasons. But for now I'll just focus on the Sona Pen and Medibang. The Sona Pen plugs into the headphone jack of your phone, iPad, Windows Surface etc. Which at first you might think is weird since it activates the pressure sensitivity through that cord via some Chinese witchcraft but if you like to listen to music at the same time you'll realize it isn't the worst but you'd still like to hear the jazz singer without needing another device. It'd be nice if the cord was longer too just so it didn't get in the way so much. But the nice thing about it is that it means you don't need to change or charge batteries. And you can still use the stylus without it being plugged in but you don't get any benefits different from using your finger. It's like getting your period. Not the most fantastic thing to experience. But guess what? You're not pregnant. It has a shortcut button on the side that you can assign hotkeys to. I keep mine set on a razor drawing toggle. Another note here is apparently a lot of people have problems while using the pen with Windows. So yeah, this is primarily an Apple option. Another downside to the Sona pen is that not very many apps support it yet. I mean heck, Medibang was only listed as pending on their website and it would have sucked ass if I had to actually use Ibis Paint as my application. Luckily, Medibang does support the sensitivity from Sona here. Now with a normal tablet and pen combo from the Wacom Inchus, which is my main tablet, to an $800 Cintiq, you have drivers that occasionally have to be installed and reset, which often include a lot of unplugging and waiting and trying again. Using Medibang you kind of get a similar dealio with having to plug it in and unplug it and tell it to connect and do that song and dance around 3 to 10 times if it's being stubborn. But once it's working you have some other things to fiddle with. Pressure sensitivity on, but I wouldn't recommend turning on the palm rejection, namely because when you do that you're unable to zoom in and out and as far as I can tell there are no scroll bars to help fix that, other than that the palm rejection isn't super accurate, so I just leave it off, really, just pull up the sleeve of your shirt or use a little cloth or something to keep your hand separate from the screen, or if you're feeling bougie you can get you a minority report glove, it works better than the palm rejection. Occasionally it will freeze and not let you draw or use tools at all, and when that happens you just have to save and close the program completely to get it working again, and then you have to reset the drivers again. You gotta do that every time you unplug the pen or close Medibang. Now I know that most of what I've said so far makes the Sona pen sound terrible, and that's because I'm writing this review under the influence of a sinus infection. Really, even with all the bothersome points I brought up I really like my Sona pen. Sure it can be buggy, but it was $34 and came all the way from Hong Kong in two weeks. It's intuitive, comes with replacement nibs, although mine only came with one for whatever reason even though there are three slots in the foam, but I digress. Although I am low-key scared that I'll break it just because it has a flappy disc end connected to a rubber bit that I've heard is quote-unquote very durable. And so for that reason I let it hang out in a tequila bottle when I'm not using it. And you don't have to charge it or change batteries, which anyone who's ever bought a sex toy will tell you is a wonderful feature. Plug and play. Basically, it's affordable, lightweight, has pressure sensitivity, fits your hand, doesn't need batteries. Comes from a family's independent company Kickstarter, so it probably makes vegans happy too. Comes in a wazoo of colored cords cause if you don't want to be yellow and sassy you can be black and classy plus other color jokes. It comes with two little magnetic pen holders, one that has a sticky back, and one that slides into the charging port. A little foam case with a zipper on it for storage, and like some stickers too. 
I would recommend the Sona pen if you don't want to spend 98 ridiculous dollars on the Apple Pencil. Fucking Pencil! Hopefully more apps will support it in the future, and who knows, we may even get a Bluetooth edition someday. Thanks to Sassy Daniel for doing my voiceover. For whatever reason I decided to do my review at the same time my body told me to fight my sickness demons and at one point even choke on my own blood because that's a fun thing to do. I was surrounded by old people recently and my immune system has been low, so I guess I caught old person sickness. Really though I hope this review is helpful to someone and at best save some poor artist some money. And in case you're wondering this is nothing like the content I normally put out so don't get excited about me being a sassy review channel.